Hello, my name is Logan and I'm your host, The Mighty Pirate. In today's video, we're going to discuss the Mad Dog. The Mad Dog... Hmm, well, the things to say about the Mad Dog. First off, it doesn't have a proper name. The Inner Sphere calls the Mad Dog the Vulture, and the clans call the Mad Dog a Mad Dog. And that's because it is a derogatory term implying that it is a lesser timber wolf. It is also a derogatory term in the fact that the pilots that would use it, Clan Coyote, Clan Wolf, they're both mad dogs. Anyway, that's the joke. But I couldn't find an actual source for the original name of the mad dog slash vulture. So, fun fact for the day. Anyway, the Vulture has an XL300 engine, 12 double heat sinks, two LRM20s, two medium pulse lasers, two large pulse lasers, and eight and a half tons of ferrofibrous armor. The reason that this mech was called the Vulture by the Inner Sphere is that oftentimes when it was on the battlefield, it would sit back and just rain LRMs, and it wouldn't close the distance between the two mechs until the enemy mech was nearly dead, picking off its prey like a vulture. So that's where the name comes from. Also, there is a Japanese term for it, which I'm not going to even try to pronounce, but I assume that means that it was found by the Draconis Combine, but that translation, it translates back into vulture again, but in Japanese. Uh, Haggard. Nope, not going to even try. Anyway, so the Mad Dog at 60 tons is in fact designed to be a support mech. If it has to fall back, it'll fire its large pulse or its pulse lasers as it falls back and shoots. As the Vulture falls back, it'll have superior accuracy to a standard laser loadout due to pulse lasers. Pulse lasers are more accurate than standard lasers due to there being less exposure time on the burst of damage. So while a standard medium laser might have lasers that uh, exist for two seconds, a pulse laser would have lasers that exist for one second, we'll say. Um, th don't take me on those quotes, it's just an example. Anyway, so... With the Vulture being able to have the superior fallback and shoot accuracy, as well as the long-range harass from the LRM-20 racks, you'll find that there is a lot of Vultures in circulation amongst the clans, most predominantly with Clan Ghost Bear. While the Vulture is predominantly a long-range mech, I did find one variant that had a very different take on the Vulture's weapons loadout. Vulture A, or the Mad Dog A, depending on how you're reading it, has an ER PPC, an LBX 5 AC, and then takes out all the LRM racks and replaces them with six SRM 6 racks. I thought that was a really fun design. Anyway, that's what I got to say about the Mad Dog. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you have a great day and I will catch you next time.